It is said that the average wait for a kidney transplant is eight years, with over 400 people awaiting organs from brain-dead donors. And here, the primary challenge is the shortage of donors, pushing some to consider illegal avenues. Today, let's dive into the murky world of the black market, where life-saving organs can fetch prices over a million US dollars. Today's story has been featured on the Asian true crime podcast, Heinous. On this episode, we've teamed up to share stories across our platforms, aiming to spotlight Asian true crime. So without further ado, let's dive into today's story. Famous Taiwanese night markets, or ye shi, include the Taiyuan Tourist Night Market on Zhongzheng Road. As dusk falls, this once quiet street transforms, lit by vibrant lights, and becoming a hub for entertainment and relaxation. But there is another type of night market that remains largely unknown, a place called the Oregon Night Market. It is no surprise that few people are aware of its existence. The place exclusively welcomes those either selling their organs for money or seeking to buy human organs. However, in the winter of 2022, a man named Ah Wei found himself caught in a harrowing situation. Tragically, he became an unwitting victim of one of Taiwan's most notorious scams. In early November 2022, Ah Wei was stressed due to his challenging job hunt amidst tough global market conditions. Just when things seemed bleak, a message from Xie, a former schoolmate, popped up on his phone. She offered him a job. She mentioned a position in Cambodia with a $200,000 monthly salary. However, the job specifics remained unclear. On November 4th, 2022, Xie and her former primary school classmate, Awe, met in Taoyuan for what was termed a reunion. Upon arrival, Awe found they were meeting at a bar. Xie greeted Awe with excitement in her eyes, suggesting they catch up over a drink. As the evening progressed, Awe and Xie reveled in laughter and companionship, losing track of time. The rice wine kept coming. And as Awe continued to drink, Xie spoke enticingly of Cambodia and the promising job there. While Awe felt excited by the prospects as he drank more, Xie's voice gradually faded until silence took over. Xie had hidden intentions for this meeting, and Awe had unknowingly walked into the trap of a predator. At 29, Xie was known in many Taiwanese media circles as the Scorpion Lady. She was linked to a notorious crime syndicate, the Snakehead Gang. While Snakehead typically refers to those involved in illegal migration from China, the term has also been associated with a broader spectrum of criminal activities. Before alcohol overwhelmed Awe, Xie seduced him with a tantalizing job offer. She even said that his pre-departure full health checkup in light of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic would be covered by the company. However, this health checkup was actually an organ screening. Reports indicate that once Awe was unconscious, Xie handed him over to the Snakehead Gang, earning herself around 300 US dollars. Xie was not the friend Awe imagined, but a crafty scam artist. The full extent of her treachery is uncertain. Given how swiftly she deceived Awe, it's hard not to think she preyed on many others before him. After capturing Awe, the gang first took him to a motel and then tried to open savings accounts in his name at banks in Xinchu in New Taipei City, aiming to drain his other accounts. However, bank employees noticed Awe's inebriated state and denied the requests. Not deterred, Xie and her gang quickly hatched another scheme. On Telegram, they created anonymous accounts to send out ads. Using the code Car Dismantler, they communicated their illegal organ harvesting services to certain groups. 
Shortly after their ad was released, Bayer offered 90,000 US dollars for Awe's organs and arranged a nighttime meeting in a deserted parking lot. In their vehicle, an unconscious Awe was trapped with the gang. Upon reaching the meeting spot, they found only an empty parking lot. Confused and wary, they questioned the buyer's intentions. Suddenly, the piercing sound of a police siren shattered the night's stillness. Their grim plans were laid bare. The eager buyer was, in fact, an undercover police officer. The gang had been under surveillance across five significant locations, from car dealerships to Taoyuan's bustling nightlife areas. At the parking lot confrontation, five members, including Xie, were apprehended. Later, as Taiwanese media reported, four more accomplices connected to the syndicate were captured. The initial lead to the syndicate was during a fraud investigation connected to Cambodia. A critical clue was a mobile phone owned by an individual named Lin. The phone's data suggested organ harvesting activities with reference to a piglet named Huang, indicating a potential victim. The word piglet here refers to a victim that was about to get their organs harvested. This revelation spurred further investigation. When approached, Huang was initially uncooperative, but he eventually unveiled the Snake and Gang's existence. This confession ignited a determined effort to shut down the criminal operation. Huang was offered a hefty sum for his organs, 15,000 US dollars up front, with another 15,000 upon his arrival in Cambodia. The only thing that saved him from organ harvesting was the last minute retraction of his buyer. Abandoned in Cambodia, he managed to return to Taiwan with assistance from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Huang's testimonial allowed the Taiwanese police to monitor the gang, leading to the car park apprehension. However, the Snake and Gang's full scale remains murky. Investigations indicate their sphere of influence isn't limited to Taiwan. Collaborations between Taiwanese and Cambodian gangs are believed to foster a hotspot for crimes, encompassing human trafficking, slavery, and even homicides. In the dark underworld, illegal organ harvesting is a notorious operation, often devoid of medical safety. One gruesome method involves sedating the victim, submerging them in an ice bath, and making incisions to extract organs. The horror intensifies as victims sometimes remain alive, and at times conscious, during the procedure. Upon awakening, they face unimaginable pain and trauma, sometimes with untreated, open wounds. A prevalent strategy among these syndicates is the employment scam. Using this, victims like Ah Wei and Huang are seduced by the allure of attractive job opportunities, only to be confronted with a sinister reality involving deception, abuse, and sometimes death. Diving into the dark world of illegal organ trade reveals just how far-reaching the grasp of criminal syndicates has become. The illegal organ market thrives due to the immense demand and staggering profits. Sources and cyber investigators assert that the dark web trades in a broad range of illegal merchandise. Additionally, it is alarmingly easy to uncover price points. It is known that a cursory search for human organs for sale on the dark web brings up a link to a site mirroring the layout of common e-commerce platforms. This site showcases standard elements from a shopping cart and a checkout system to shipping details and an About Us page. The website's front page boldly announces human organs and human body parts for sale with 100% discreet packaging and safe shipping worldwide. It displays graphic images of human organs, each with a price tag. A set of lungs carries a $50,000 price, a liver $60,000, kidneys are priced at $80,000, and a still-beating heart fetches a chilling $100,000. Upon navigating to the shipping section, the website assures buyers your organ will be delivered directly to your home. Our specialized packaging involves machines that keep the organ functioning and viable for up to a year. 
Our dedicated agents will personally ensure the safe transit of your purchase. What is profoundly unsettling is the website's professional veneer mirroring legitimate online retailers. They even provide a customer service WhatsApp number for any inquiries. Other websites offer a disturbing array of items and services, including firearms, drugs, fake documents, contract killers, and even live babies. While there have been many efforts to combat the illegal organ harvesting trade, many have faced numerous challenges, including the complex and secretive nature of the industry, the lack of cooperation between countries, and the difficulty of gathering evidence to prosecute those involved. Victims like Awe often get ensnared by Chinese gangs, ending up in debt and facing beatings or worse fates. This issue pervades Asia, with Cambodia as a hotspot and its influence reaching Myanmar and Laos. Sources reveal that those involved in Awe's kidnapping now face serious charges, from human trafficking to organ harvesting. Taiwan's legal system aims to ensure severe penalties for such crimes, serving as a deterrent. Awe was fortunate to be rescued, but many aren't. The case marks a significant milestone in the fight against human trafficking and cybercrime in Southeast Asia. Criminal networks are expanding their reach, now targeting tech-savvy teenagers who are often multilingual. Their digital skills make them prime targets for illegal online activities such as online scams and illegal gambling. Some survivors have spoken out detailing coercive tactics like daily recruitment quotas for online gambling sites and threats of torture for non-compliance. What a scary world that we're living in. Stay safe, everyone. That's all for today. Catch you in the next episode. See you soon.